Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing a tarot card reading that is going to be focused on twin flames. And the energy that I channeled is one that resonates with people that are going through a difficult time. But in particular, I've left the messages open to the ones that need it the most. So it's not going to apply to any particular zodiac sign. If during the course of this reading you feel like it resonates with you and that this is your story and then you know you can proceed onwards from there on. So I do feel like you know have an open mind when you are listening to this reading and pay attention to the messages because it might apply to you, some of it might not apply to you. So it's just a very general twin flame reading, okay? So let's begin. What I see from the cards is an indication that for some of you, you may have met an individual, okay, in passing. And I feel like this might have been a very quick connection. Things might have happened really fast for you and this person concerned. And it might have been, you know, potentially love at first sight or feeling a connection or some sort of energy that is drawing the two of you together. Now, what I'm sensing is that this person that you're dealing with, this person that you believe to be your twin flame, they could be at a point in which they see themselves as extremely lucky for having met you. So I feel like they know that you are different. They know that you are, you know, not like the other people that they've met. I don't know if this individual knows that the two of you are twin flames, but they definitely know that what the two of you have is something that is special, okay? I feel like you took their heart, you know, and uh, wherever you go, you take it with them. That's what I'm getting the impression here from the, you know, the cards. And what I'm also sensing is that in this situation, this person, okay, I feel like they don't want this connection to die. They have this sort of desire to figure things out. So they could be spending a lot of time, you know, in their own personal space, trying to either establish what this connection is. So I feel like they're trying to, you know, find answers during this period of time. That's where they really are right now. Now, what I'm also sensing from the cards is that this individual, okay, they are afraid of being deceived or they are afraid of losing this connection due to obstacles or difficulties that might come in, you know, your pathway with them. So they have some of these concerns that are really, you know, making them either have sleepless nights or have a difficulty in terms of, you know, coping with the situation. Now, I sense that communication might have ended for some of you, okay? And I also feel like it might not be as good as it could be. So communication may have come to a bit of an abrupt halt. Perhaps this is due to, you know, what other people might say of the two of you coming together. So there might be you know, gossip around in terms of the situation. So I do feel like that's one of the possibilities. But I'm also sensing from the cards that in the situation, this individual is thinking about something that is serious, okay? And I feel like they have a decision to make, but I also feel like they want to evaluate whether or not commitments is something that they can truly embark upon in this situation. So I feel like the type of communication you're getting from this individual is not complete. It's not as you would like it to be because I feel like they're holding back. You know, they're not giving you the full story. They're not opening up their heart entirely. And I feel like you're really invested in this individual but uh, even though they're watching you very carefully and they're thinking about something serious in terms of a relationship, I also feel like, you know, this person is afraid of 
what the responsibilities might entail in the situation, okay? So there is a lot of things that are going on here. I'm also sensing from the cards that this person, you know, they don't want to get into any sort of conflict or difficulties. For some of you, your twin flame might be married to another person and then this person could be a corrupt type of individual or someone that is very selfish or unkind so they could be in a relationship with a very manipulative cruel type of individual that's one of the possibilities that i'm looking at right now what i also sense is that there might have been a bit of a power struggle that was going on in this situation i feel like someone was being very defensive or someone was you know perhaps not really thinking about how lucky they were in the situation. What I notice is that from the cards, there is a pretty strong connection here that is, uh, you know, fueled by external factors that have brought the two of you together. And uh, I'm also noticing that certain things are going to have to change in terms of this dynamic in order for it to go forward, okay? So now I'm going to shuffle the cards and get more information. I feel like the person you're dealing with, they have a choice to make, okay? Because I'm sensing that they're not happy in their current situation. They might have had issues in their relationship with uh, their partner. You know, it could be relating to children or it could be relating to other elements that have been causing problems. I'm also sensing that this person is not loyal to the person they're married to if they're married, okay? They're not loyal to them. I feel like their loyalties are more in alignment with you than the person that they're actually married to. Just throwing it out there in case this individual is married to someone else. So as I've mentioned, I'm not sure if I mentioned it actually, but I feel like this individual is looking forward to communicating to you. And I feel like you're waiting on a message as well from this person, okay? And you've been thinking about it a lot and you've been, uh, you know, wondering if they're going to reach out, if they're going to say anything. And they're waiting for you to reach out, but they half-heartedly know or think that you might you know, not be completely forthright with them. So I feel like they're trying to be as strategic as possible in terms of communicating with you because, uh, you know, they don't want to deal with any sort of difficulties in the situation. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on the Elite Tarot Society as well as the single extended reading. You can find the links in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.